Hi folks, well, my voice is back, <laughs> sort of, it's not like it was. So, this would have been week seven, and I think, fingers crossed, we're okay. I think. Let's have a bit of this. Anyway, today's video, Goff, what defines you? And uh, I was thinking about it, and yeah, anybody can be Goff in all the sense of the word, whatever. But like anything else in the world, you're all individual. So what defines you? And that can come up in lots of different ways, I imagine. Um, depends how you see it and how you define what defines you. Um, what defined you enough to give you the name that you use uh, instead of John Smith? Sally Jones, you come up with a really good goth name. So something within you define that name and it's usually comes about through your character, what you are, uh, where you feel you are, where you, where you feel you might be good, might be where you feel that you want to be and it might be something in the future now history don't know but something defines you as the goth that you are if you're not goth something will define you in whatever you are and um, it can be any subculture it can be the main culture um, but it doesn't matter whatever you are you are you you are unique you probably Mimic other people to some degree, but you are unique. Something defines you. Um, and I thought about it. I thought, what defines me to a big extent? And it goes in my name, the Kilted Goth. Good bloody clue there. Kilt. Kilts. Um... Before the Kilted Goth, I had a name that I didn't give myself. People around in town and unbeknown to me gave it to me. So I would go into a cafe, I would go into a shop or whatever I normally went in. And now and then I would get people saying, yeah, we had uh, somebody in the other day was saying, uh, um, I seen the man in black. I ain't seen him for a while. Some, some, some. The man in black. And I got a name, the man in black, because, golf wise, I wore all black, and I did. Everything was black. So black, I suppose that I've mentioned it before. I stood at a bus stop, wait for my bus. There was a woman there, and she said. Had a long coat on and everything. Are you a priest? <laughs> I could see where she was coming from, but at the same time, I thought you've got a strange understanding of looking at somebody and thinking what a priest is. Because although there's all this black, there's all this sort of jewelry and piercings and goodness knows what. But anyway. That didn't go around. I wasn't known as the priest. Um, people had thought Undertaker. <laughs> anyway, came the day that uh, I decided, yeah, I wanted to wear kilts. Um, a friend online wore kilts, um, leather jackets, all that sort of thing, boots. I thought, I like that. 
I think I'm going to go in that direction. So I did. And that started it to define me. And the first way it did was thought to myself, you get all this stuff within the goth subculture. This goth, that goth, the other goth, that goth there, that goth there. Some people like, some people go, oh, what the hell? But anyway, you might say in a way, the goth subculture is made up of many subcultures within the subculture. So if you don't want to say a Victorian goth is goth, not traditional, they dress like Victorians, they dress like vampires, they dress like this. So if you don't really want to say, well, they're goth because they're not really traditional, then they are a subculture within the subculture. And I'm okay with that. I like the subcultures within the subculture. And I thought to myself, kilts, where the hell am I going to fall in with kilts? <laughs> And it just dawned on me, the kilted goth. And that's how it went from that day, the kilted goth. Now, in the subculture, if you Google kilted goths, you will find some pop up in traditional kilts. More you'll find in, in what people would say, well, that's particularly a goth type kilt. type of a kilt in a way if you don't want to call it anything else but probably very long skirty uh, sort of thing um, but yeah within the subculture so that's a goth kilt so I thought well where does the traditional kilt with traditional tartan fit in with goth because if you stick it on a goth Looks like a goth in a kilt. But doesn't a goth look like anything in a kilt? No, no. Does, doesn't a goth look like a goth in anything? Goth in jeans, a goth in trousers, a goth in whatever. Anyway, so yeah, looking back, I think back to the 80s where I lived and where golf was in my area. And looking back at the kilt, it was pretty much a punk thing. You definitely saw punks in kilts, traditional tartan kilts. And what are punk? The daddy of golf. I remember back at that time even, some of the very first goths I ever came across, uh, <coughs> some in kilts. So yeah, I don't flip and have any issue with that. And funny enough, even though I wear kilts and different bits and bobs, people, if they're gonna call you anything, they'll say, you're a goth, aren't you? They don't seem to think you're this. Uh, well, the only other thing, the only other thing that if somebody doesn't say you're goth, aren't you, is, is there a pipe band playing today? And they mean it. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so kilts define me. So I thought I'd just show one or two of the kilts that I actually do wear this is a few i've got a lot i've got two or three of each one and whatever but why this come about is because i bought one it came today and it is totally different to what i normally have in the color wise and if i lift it like that 
and that's this is only the top flipping layer there's a bottom layer as well if you can see it it's there is a sort of green in there but there's a lot of brownie muddy colors and i wasn't sure whether i would sort of get away with that or not but it does tend to go um it's a little bit more battle kilt than it is uh let's go to a wedding kilt and it's cut it this is black watch but it's called black watch weathered so it's made to look like it's been around for a while it's weathered it's been out there in the battles and uh yeah i love it so i'll put a picture up of what it does look like you might be able to see the colors better because the light in here is pretty flipping thin so i might i'm not one for going out and saying oh i need all this paraphernalia to do videos but i might buy one of those little circle lamps i don't know yet Anyway, so kilts, one of the kilts that I do wear a lot, like I said, black watch. So now, black watch weathered, and this is black watch normally. So if I can lift this bit up again, in the light, you can't really see it in this light, but if you look at that, and you look at that, they are sort of two different kettle of fish. My favourite kilt, really. So, that one. The other one that I have, uh, I've got a few of those. And these. And this one, although it looks very much like the Black Watch, it isn't. This is, uh, it's one called Gun. And, uh, very much like the black watch but there's different lines of uh color and breadth and everything in it and when you're out a lot of people say oh what's your tart and that's uh black watch isn't it i also have to look down because i'm never sure what the hell i got on uh, no that's gone <laughs> just a little bit different to the black watch uh the other one that i quite like which, funny enough, I did get from a charity shop. And that's this one. Again, I wasn't too sure when, with the colours. with some light greens and some blues and that in there. But uh, I like it. And uh, that's Le Mont. Le Mont. And I went... One day completely in a different flipping direction to those sort of colours and went to this, which is a red colour. And and although when you go to buy them or you buy them and you look at it, you think, I'm not sure really. But once you get it, put it on, it tends to fit in. And if I want to look, the man in black. It's a name in it. I have a couple of these. I had three of them, but I've got two now. And this is all black. Totally black kilt. So if you wear that, you're definitely not mistaken. Anyway, so yeah, that's some of the kilts that I've got at the moment. Like I said, there is more, but they're the same colours as those. Um, I'll definitely, I think I'll definitely buy more of this colour. It's really flipping cool. So I'm going to buy some other bit of clothing and that that will go with this. It is very battle dress. So I bought some... I've ordered them, they should come two days time, not tomorrow, the day after. They're shorter boots than these I normally wear. Shorter, black, 
with brown panels at the siding and uh, just for show two two straps on each uh, boot but they're gonna look pretty battle with this and for the top I could put a pitch up actually didn't think about it I'll put one of the boots up put one of this up it's a t-shirt and I think it's pretty flipping neat <coughs> and although I cut sleeves off every flippy t-shirt that comes in the house I <coughs> I might leave these sleeves on for a little while at least um, knowing me they might come off but I'll put a picture up And as you can see from that, it looks like a jacket. Um, pretty fantastic. And it, it fits in with the sort of battle look. So um, it, is, uh, it is down as a goth, blah, 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 T-shirt, actually. And uh, even the boots are down as very strange, goth, emo, Summit, 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 summit. So, anyway, we'll say subculture boots. So, yeah, um, quick one. Um, that's really what defines me. It's not the be all and end all of everything. There's a lot of things that define me, many, many things that define me uh, within the subculture. But one that stands out, which anyone looking at me can't flipping miss, is kilts. I cannot see myself uh, going back to what we call trousers, others call pants, uh, or jeans or anything like that. I put a pair on one day, I was having to wear them for a couple of days, looked in the mirror and I thought, what the hell? I could see these two legs and funny enough the jeans didn't look as masculine as the kilt which a lot of people might find a little bit strange but that's how it is and a lot of people seem to like kilts funny enough so yeah goth what defines you now if you want to do a video of uh, goth what defines you or any, any other subculture that and what defines you, give it a go. Have a think of what defines you as the person you are within the subculture. Do a video on it. This person, for one, will be looking forward to seeing it. And I'm sure many other will. And it'll maybe make other people sit back and think, yeah, I'm goth, but what actually defines me within the subculture what makes me feel that I'm a little bit different to other people around because we don't all want to be flipping clones do we so on that note I'm gonna have some more of this this I don't know, actually if anything else flipping defines me it's flipping Carolina Reaper soup I won't get this up neither Ah, uh, voila. So, folks, see you later. That defines me. What defines you?